Louise Hay always said she was a simple lady with a simple message. Yet her philosophy changed the lives of millions worldwide with her books, audios, and videos. I invite you to enjoy the basics of Louise's philosophy with affirmations. As you may know, Louise had a very abusive upbringing. And yet, despite her low self-esteem, she managed to become a high-end model in New York and even married an English nobleman. Sadly, after 14 years, he came home and divorced her because he was in love with another woman. Of course, she was devastated. And yet, there was a miracle waiting for Louise. One day, a friend of hers invited her to a lecture. And although the friend didn't show up, Louise did. And what she heard that night was change your thinking, change your life. She immediately enrolled in the courses that this facility had, and indeed, she did change her life. The basic foundation of her philosophy is love yourself. That when you love and approve of yourself, everything begins to fall into place. As she says, my best relationship is the one I have with me. And to change her life, she used affirmations, meditations, and more. For affirmations, the basics are, they're positive, present tense, personal statements. And you're using them to change your thinking and thus create the future you want. And they're even more powerful when you actually add in the feeling aspect, not just your thoughts. So here are some affirmations, and I encourage you, as I read them, to really feel them within yourself being true for you. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. My body is strong and vibrantly healthy. My income is constantly increasing. My relationships are harmonious. I am guided by divine wisdom. I enjoy a wonderful career with meaning and purpose. Louise also really advocates dropping the shoulds. Pay attention to your thoughts. Awareness is so important. Do you often should on yourself? Because if you do, you're saying you were wrong, you are wrong, or you're going to be wrong. And what feeling does that create? Not good. So drop the shoulds and instead use the word could. I could if I really wanted to. Here's an affirmation that covers a lot. I am abundant in love, joy, health, happiness, and money. You deserve abundance. Be willing to accept it into your life. And along the way, you'll notice that when you love and approve of yourself, it becomes easier to love and approve of others because you understand that they were doing the best they could at the time. So acceptance and compassion come along with loving yourself. Now, I really like the word easy in my affirmations because so often I hear people say, oh, it's hard to. And if that's what you say, of course, it is. So it is easy for me to nourish my body with healthy food. What else would you like to be easy in your life? Create your own affirmations. And of course, Louise's first book was Heal Your Body, where she lists so many of our physical symptoms and diseases and connects them with the emotional and spiritual connections. Now, she never meant for anyone to feel guilty with this information. It's just information, and it can help you with your healing process. My clients often said that it was 80% accurate, and they were amazed that Louise would know what was going on with them. Louise called it her inner ding, her connection with her inner wisdom that guided her. 
And she developed that with years of meditation and what are called treatments in her philosophy. So just know that the wisdom you seek is within you and you certainly can access that by becoming quiet. Whether it's with meditation or a walk in nature or whatever helps you to really nourish yourself. I bless my income with love and watch it grow. Louise often said that it was easier to do a workshop on sexuality than on prosperity and money because so many people had their buttons pushed with that. It's okay to be prosperous. And of course, inner child work is so important in this work as well. To really love and approve of that child within you that never got the love and support that it was needing to really develop fully. So I listen with love to my inner child. What kind of love does your inner child need? Be willing to listen and give that child the words, the support, the love it needs. Louise said, my purpose is to learn to love unconditionally. And that's in her Meditations to Heal Your Life. Her intention was also to share her philosophy with as many people as possible because her life had changed so much. And she certainly did that with millions. She never intended to start out publishing a, or starting a book publishing company, but that's how it unfolded that that was her way to spread her message and her purpose to share love unconditionally and teach other people to do the same. And yes, forgiveness is a really important part of this philosophy. Forgiveness doesn't condone bad behavior or abuse or betrayal from the past, but it frees you from the past. And when forgiveness is difficult, be willing to forgive. Know that it's a process and you're in process with it. And so today, open your arms and welcome the wonderful new future that you are creating. Affirm, today I create a wonderful new future. And so it is. If you would like information on becoming a licensed Heal Your Life workshop leader and coach, you can go to HealYourLifeTraining.com. Or if you'd like to find a workshop to go to or a coach to work with, you can go to HealYourLifeWorkshops.com. May you use this philosophy to change your life and create the life that you desire. And so it is.